635 new this morning Virginia Tech research is going mainstream as the biocomplexity Institute teams up with AccuWeather to share flu forecasting technology. The tool will soon be available as part of an app and will warn people weeks in advance of a flu outbreak in their area. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire joins us live this morning. So Aaron, how are they able to forecast this information? Well, unlike weather forecasts, which have become a part of our everyday lives, flu forecasts aren't always as accessible, and when they are released, they tend to be pretty broad. That's why this EpiCaster, which was uh, made by the Biocomplexity Institute at Virginia Tech, caught the attention of AccuWeather. You can break it down county by county, city by city, and even look at what if. So if more people get vaccinated, the impact that might have on the flu in our area, or if schools close because of the flu for the next several weeks, so you can break down all the different factors to see the impact that they would have. Now, the new forecast will be updated weekly on the AccuWeather app by using confirmed cases reported to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, combined with social media posts and Google searches related to the flu. But one of the most complex aspects to this flu forecasting technology is the synthetic populations. In terms of, or in simple terms, researchers are able to use computers at the Biocomplexity Institute to set up a population similar to what actually exists in the United States. They they then use that population to model real behaviors, predicting the response that each individual person in the model will have to the outbreak based on where they live, travel, and commute. So the private behavior is like people start socially distancing themselves from uh, people who are already infected. Those who are infected don't go to workplace or schools. So the computers would be able to model the impact that having those people stay home or taking care of a loved one that's sick with the flu would have on the spread of the flu outbreak. Researchers can also model government and business reactions looking at the real impact a flu vaccine campaign could have or what would happen if the CDC rolled out a second more effective vaccination later in the year. Now researchers are also able to compile all of that information, narrow it down to see the impact that the flu outbreak would have on each individual person created in the model, creating the flu, the flu forecast that will soon be part of that AccuWeather app, allowing people to look at their individual region and see what the flu forecast is for their area. Live in the newsroom, I'm Erin Brookshire, 10 News, working for you.